Good day everyone. Today we will learn about logic gate and simple logic circuit part 1. End of this topic, students should able to identify logical operators and or not and symbols gate used to represent each of the operators. In the part 2, we will learn about identify combination of different gates such as none, no, XO and XNO gates. Okay, logic gate and simple logic circuit. Boolean algebra. Expression expressing logical process into a mathematical and electronic form for a computation. The variables take one to Values corresponding to truth 1 or T for true and 0 and F or F for false. Boolean algebra such as three basic logical operators are being used in this logic gate. That is N, or and not. This basic operation can be combined to form a Boolean expression further. Okay, for example, you can try, the first example is x dot y, means that x times y. The second one is a times b plus c. As we know, for the Boolean algebra or mathematic calculation, we have to do the times first, then we go for the plus. So, you can try to guess the answer before we continue the lesson. So, I will give you around few seconds to draft x times y in a logical circuit how it's possible should be the answer what is the possible answer for x times y and a times b plus c okay let's be more on the first operator is a and d and gate the end gate is occur happen when a times b or a b is happened we can write down a dot b or a b eh? for, for usually we will write down a dot b eh? for n gate okay n gate means that both uh, uh, conditions are made for example eh? if input a is 0 b is 0 your possible output for this one is should be 0 okay if input a is 0 b is 1 your output should be 0 if a is 1 b is 0 your output should be 0 if a is 1 b is 1 the final output should be 1 okay for example eh, when you times a times b 0 times 0 you get 0 0 times 1 you will get 0 1 times 0 you will get 0 1 times 1 you will get 1 this is the easiest way to remember and gate when it comes to and gate you times both answers for a what you got in a you have to times with b so a is 0 b is 0 so should be the final output is 0 okay this is an and gate so there are two inputs a and b the possible output for this uh, truth table this one we call it as a truth table the possible output for this truth table is 4 2 power of 2 2 input value okay we have two condition true or false so two power of two because we have two inputs a and b so it means that two power of two will get four means that your final output should be four the first output is zero second output is zero third output is zero and the fourth output is one okay we have two input a and b and you have four output zero 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 and one this is a truth table for n gate okay how to draw n gate so n gate you have a drawing like this a and b so when we combine a and b so you'll get the a times b this is we call it as a circuit for the logic gate n gate and eh? so you can represent in the diagram such as like this okay the n gate allows two or more input and s 
one output. It can be more than two input, but your final output become one. For this case, you have two input A and B, but the final output become A times B. You only have one line at the output. Okay, the output is the Boolean product or multiplication of their value. Okay, second one is a OR gate. So OR gate happen when either A or B is truth. So the final output will be truth. Okay, for example, eh, OR gate. So we also can write down OR gate such as A is a one input and B is one input. You can write down OR gate as A plus B. Okay, A is zero, B is zero. Your final output become zero. Either one true, your final output will be true. Eh? A is zero, B is one. Your final output become one. A is one, B is zero. Final A plus B is one. A is one, B is one. Means that both are true. So you also will get truth one. So you can read also as A plus B. The truth table. When I have two input or gate, A is 0, B is 0, final is 0. It means that two input will have four possible output. And if either one input is positive, your final output will be positive. Eh? Your final output will be true. Either one input is true, your final output will be true. So for first row, we can see A is 0, B is 0. No truth value is happened there. No truth on so your final output will be 0, A is 0, B is 1, so your final will be 1, A is 1, B is 0, your final answer should be 1, A is 1, B is 1, your final answer will be 1. Okay, so the drawing for the OR gate is like this. Okay, OR gate. And operator can be represented as below. It's not an N operator, it's all operators. Eh? So you can use a plus symbol when we write down the operators okay a b so it's look like a drawings is is quite uh, different from the end gate and eh? the drawings is quite different from the end gate the third one is a not gate okay we call it as a not gate so the boolean expression is not operation and also can write down as a bar eh? a become a bar if zero is your input your output will be one is your input is one your output will be zero okay is inverse your input it's not op an operation also it's in a unary operation while because it's a one input so when we have a one input we call it as a unary when we have a two input we call it as a binary yeah okay a logical inverter sometimes called a not gate to differentiate it from other types of electronic okay inverter device has only one input just now i mentioned it to you it's so only have one input and is reverse the logic circuit right logic state when you in insert one it becomes zero when you insert zero it becomes one okay this is a not gate okay the basic rule for simplifying and combining logic gates are called boolean algebra in honor of george bull 1815 to 1864 is introduced this one to us there are two types of operators first one is unary unary is a not gate we just now uh, uh, mentioned about that only have one input and one output if an input is uh, true output become false if input is false output become true means that your input is one output become zero if an input is zero output become one so there's a unary the second one is binary and gate and or gate okay and gate mo both conditions should be met to get the final truth if a is true b is true final should be true okay either one false your final output will be false but for is compared to or gate is quite different or gate if either one input is one the final output will be what okay Logical addition or operations. Eh? Each variable in Boolean algebra uh, has either of two values, true or false. Eh? Just now mentioned to you, true or false, or zero and one, eh? one and zero. For instance, in logic equation, a plus uh, b equal to c. Eh? Each variable a, b, c may have only one value, zero or one. So when we go for the uh, 
boolean algebra we can insert a maybe 1 b is 0 what is the final output we can check it like that okay but we when we write down in a truth table we combine all together all possible output we will write down inside the truth table eh? okay we can define use a plus symbol for or gate okay we can use a plus symbol for or gate okay this is an example of truth table okay a b a is a 0 b is 0 a is 1 b is 0 a is 0 b is 1 and the last one is a is 1 and b is 1 your output c is your output is equal to a plus b always we write down the output in the left side of the uh, uh, equation eh? c equals to a plus b when or gate plus symbol happen either one true output will be true 0 0 so 0 1 0 so 1 0 1 1 1 1 so means that you already have 1 so output will be 1 okay uh, could represent binary addition table except for the last entry yeah okay the sim plus symbol therefore does not have the normal meaning of arithmetic addition but is a logical addition and refer to operation it's a lot not like a, you know, when you have one plus one become two no it's not like that when already one one light is on ready means that it's uh, still will light up so means that one and one the final output should be one okay okay the equation a plus b equal to c so also we can write down as a uh, concept that extend to any number of variables so you can change according to the questions okay for this one okay a plus b also we as can refer as also a union b a union b yeah? a union b okay so this is an example of writing for n gate so when we go for n gate okay why is your output a times b why is your output a b why is your output a intercept b so times happen eh? this one for n gate okay just now we mentioned about or gate now we mentioned about n gate okay if a is 0 b is 0 so you times your final output become 0 a is 1 b is 0 your final output become 0 a is 0 b is 1 your final output become 0 a is 1 b is 1 and your final output become 1 okay this one for n gate okay the last one is a not gate boolean algebra uses an operation called complementation and is this can be defined as um, not 0 so not 0 means 1 la? and if not 1 is 0 so not a means that whatever answer you got in a you inverse the answer okay if a is 0 it become 1 if a is 1 it's become 0 okay if a is uh, b a is a value for not gate so output become b so means that b is actually is a not a if a is 0 b is 1 if a is 1 b is 0 okay for the not gate okay there are three common types of variables uh, bring same meanings eh? if you see any nodes in uh, online internet any ratchet nodes you can see there are three types of writing eh, when we go for the not gate okay bar a uh, not a and we have the um, uh, uh, single quote a uh, means that all these three will bring the same meaning but for the exam uh, it's assured that you have to use the bar bar a eh, use this one follow the arrow this one it should be used when you use the not gate okay you should use the the both one for the exam eh? okay that's one for that's all for the part one and gate or gate and not gate thank you all